So here we are in the MGTF from 2005, which is the evolution of the uh, MGF. Both of them were born from the Rover era. So this is a mid-engined mid convertible. It's a pretty cool, uh, cool little car. This one uh, looks much better than its predecessor, most definitely. And this one is equipped with the 1.8 fuel injected petrol of course um, K series engine which um, which is not so bad you know it has its flaws um, in the cooling system design mainly so this one ate through its uh, um, cylinder head gasket before 35,000 kilometers um, and otherwise it's uh, it's a funky little car I quite like the looks of it and um, and the feel as well, it's mid-engine, so it uh, has a certain dynamic to it. Obviously, since, uh, since it's a convertible, it kind of uh, shakes and rattles, and you're pretty much aware of what's going on outside. But um, pay no mind to that, it's uh, supposed to be a sports car, so it's supposed to be having fun in it, not on a rainy day like this. But still, I'm enjoying... Uh, a little test drive after the uh, intervention that I carried out on this car uh, as the uh, regular service maintenance but uh, it was time to take care of the timing belt as well so there's a whole series of videos about that that I suggest you watch if um, if it pays any appeal to you I'd appreciate that very much listen to the awareness of your environment <laughs> um, yeah so I made a whole series of videos about this uh, mechanical intervention that I did it was the uh, changing of the timing belt it was an interesting thing to do it's the second time I'm doing this on this car uh, because I had already replaced the cylinder head gasket a while back All in all, I find it a pretty cool little car. If, uh, if I had the opportunity to buy one, I most definitely would. Um, because it's a fun little machine. The only downside is that um, everything is expensive about it. And the maintenance is expensive about this car. Uh, because it involves usually a lot of labor since it's mid-engine. The engine is right here behind me. Um, it involves quite a lot of labor. You have to... Uh, and, and space is tight, of course. Um, so things take a bit more time, you know, timing belt is, uh, is quite a job, among other things. So, um, and it's going to be expensive in petrol and expensive in tires as well. And that pipe across um, performance air filter that I installed is definitely doing its thing. Uh, gives a lot more torque low in the revs, which was exactly what the customer was looking for and so um, I was fairly confident that this would uh, take care of that which uh, which it does I'm glad about that it's pretty cool now regarding this car's behavior um, strangely enough it's pretty neutral I thought it would be kind of you know it would try to surprise you or try to kill you or something but um, it doesn't do that it's uh, very predictable so it makes it a very uh, usable car. Now you can throw it in a bend pretty much as hard as you like. It'll, it'll follow, you know, without budging. Now obviously um, if you floor it in a roundabout it'll probably send you sideways in, in an impressive way since the engine isn't at the back. Now otherwise it's, it's pretty predictable and on dry roads it's uh, a wonder to drive. Pulling nicely, going uphill here. Now you have to adapt your uh, heel and toe position. It's not the same thing as with other cars I'm used to drive, but uh, still, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. If you have to touch the engine, and that's the idea of maintenance usually. Um, it takes quite a while even just to get to the engine 
after that it's just a K series uh, which you find in many different vehicles um, and unfortunately this one is is not equipped with the uh, VVC which is a variable valve control which helps uh, develop considerable amount of torque and um, I believe 30 extra horsepower which uh, you could definitely do with never enough power if you ask me but this is a cool piece of kit um, it's not as girly as the previous one in my opinion it looks um, it looks a, a bit better you know has um, nice lines to it the um, the steering uh, power assisted steering here is a little too assisted for to my liking you know I'd expect something that you'd have to work a little a little harder you know because it's such a small car I don't really see the use of getting over encumbered with that kind of dead weight as this one is also equipped with uh, climate control um, which is kind of useless on a uh, on a drop top but uh, whatever, this one's fairly well equipped. It's got the leather seats, which uh, which are very comfy. Got a good, uh, you know, well seated uh, in, in the side bolsters. They give you proper support. So um, yeah, it's quite nice. That was good fun. That's a good little car. I uh, I would I would probably buy one myself. Um, the only thing that you have to bear in mind is that this is expensive on maintenance. It's expensive on fuel and tires uh, because uh, it has gives you that kind of confidence that you can uh, just throw it around in bends, which is which is pretty cool. I like it. And I can snap one of these up for uh, for less than five grand nowadays. Um, I've seen some as low as as two grand, but um, and even less. But I wouldn't touch these with a barge pole, most definitely, because they won't have been properly maintained. Now these K series engines do have their technical flaws, mainly regarding the cooling system. So it's always best that you take your time and source one that has its service history, like this one does. This one has hardly covered 46,000 kilometers, so it makes it brand new. Um, and yet it ate through its uh, cylinder head gasket at 35,000 I seem to remember. I replaced this myself uh, during my apprenticeship. Uh